Okay, so, my chair. I think this is a really important piece of the puzzle. So, uh, pay close attention for the next 15 to 20 minutes. I think I'm pronouncing that right. My chair. So, I'll read you the definition, an explanation, and then I'll show you a couple examples in, uh, I believe, Scotland, and then also Peru, and elsewhere. Okay, my chair refers to a fertile, low-lying, grassy plain found on part of the northwest coastlines of Ireland and Scotland, in particular the Outer Hebrides. The best examples are to be found in blah blah blah. And this is a little boring real quick here, but it's important, so just hang in there. And I'll show that it's not just in these places, it's in a lot of places. It's kind of like dune grassland. Unique to Western Scotland? Eh, maybe not in Ireland. I'm going to show similar stuff in Peru. It's kind of a system of dune ridges. Here's kind of what it looks like, just kind of a flat plain. Another image here. Another look here. Just very simple stuff. Some variation in my chair as you get further or closer to the coast. Okay, the modern theory of my chair formation was set out by blah blah 1830. He worked out that shell fragments are rolled by waves toward the shore where they are broken up further. The small shell fragments are blown up the beach to form hillocks, which are then blown inland. Humans. Human activity has an important role in the creation of the mature. Archaeological evidence indicates that some trees had been cleared for agriculture around 6000 BC, but there was still some woodland on the coast of South East as late as 1549. Seaweed deposited by early farmers provided a protective cover and added nutrients to the soil. The grass is kept short by cattle and sheep, which also add trample and add texture to the sward, forming tussocks that favor a number of bird species. The soil is low in a number of key nutrients, including copper, cobalt, manganese, which makes it necessary to feed cattle supplements or take them to summer pastures elsewhere. The soil does not hold nutrients well, making artificial fertilizers effective and limiting the crops that can be grown to certain strains of blah blah blah. Unique ecosystems. Apparently kelp protects the beach from further erosion, protects the mature. Okay, so key takeaways, humans have played an important role in making the mature, which I'll show you better images of in a moment. So a lot of clearing and cutting down the trees is supposedly responsible over thousands of years. And I'll show you, so let's go to Scotland and Ireland in Google Earth Pro, and I'll show you some examples and give you my thoughts on what I think it is. Okay, here's Scotland. Let's take a look here. So just kind of a random part of Scotland here. And, and I'm pointing out these lines here. This is what you see with the mature phenomenon, this kind of low flat plane here, and then these many uh, artificial lines here. And of course, there's the conventional theory that this is um, human work over thousands of years of clearing. It's possible. I just, on a hunch, really, I'm just guessing that it's more of a uh, 
all at once or over a short period of time uh, terraforming of some kind. So with this Machair you see all these artificial lines and it's basically the whole country of Scotland pretty much. I mean I haven't looked at all of it but it's I'm kind of saying it's too large scale to have been done by people uh, with the conventional theory of history or narrative of history. We've got these faint lines covering basically the whole country and these squiggles, some of it's straight, some of it's squiggly. Very similar patterns are seen all over the world. We saw some in Papua, in the Pacific Islands, and also in Peru you see it in a lot of places. You see more of that type of goofy, wavy pattern. See that? And I found some uh, near me as well in California. Okay, let's look at some more place marks. Just, uh, giving you some different examples, different views, so you get a feel for this, what it looks like, and whether or not you think this is typical human activity or something else. And once again, observing the scale of it. And I, I didn't even really bother putting place marks down f for everywhere because I mean it's it's too ubiquitous to just point out one location and, and say oh here it is because it's 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 everywhere and you see I think it's underneath you know there's modern activity over it you see faint uh, indications of it there there and I'm not sure if all of this would qualify as uh, Machair Many faint lines, multiple directions, so you've got kind of wavy flowing patterns as well as this stuff. And you know what, let's go, wasn't planning to show it, but let's go over to Papua real quick. Um, and I'll show you some more of this. Just um, this area right here had just had tons of strange patterns. See what I mean? Is this conventional logging or some type of clear cutting or uh, old farms, you know, like a slash and burn farming where you farm one area or do, do your thing, whatever, and then move to a new area after you've only used it once. And then that's why such a large area is covered. That's possible. Um, and this is, you're seeing similar stuff in, in Scotland with that, uh, so-called, uh, Machair phenomenon. And then Peru, as I'll show you in a moment as well, and, and really it's fairly ubiquitous across the planet in multiple places. And I want to get a quick comparison out of the way between slash and burn farming, as seen from above, and the stuff we've been observing in Scotland, Ireland, and Papua, and Peru, and elsewhere. So, uh, in this Wikipedia article, it lists a few places where slash and burn farming is prevalent. So I went and took a look at these places in, in Google Maps, and let's take a look at a few of them. Okay, Brazil. That's kind of interesting, the wavy lines. Like this, this is a really high altitude view. Like that, somewhat similar. This is actually kind of similar. Here we go. This. That's a good one. So that's what it looks like from above in Brazil. Ivory Coast. 
This one is pretty interesting. It's hard to tell what's going on here, but just for comparison, for reference, what is this? Oh, Madagascar. Uh, this might be slash and burn farming, although, yeah, that's possible. The, art, the article says there is slash and burn farming in this area, and it's a small area, so this must be what they're talking about. Santa Cruz, Bolivia. I think this is some of the slash and burn pattern, perhaps. Hard to tell. Doesn't really look burnt. Mm. This one. Thailand. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's burnt like that. But it looks... I would say distinctly different than what we see in Scotland and Ireland, the, the chair. And not that there can't be more than one style or pattern of it or variation of it, but uh, yeah, I mean, just for comparison, this in the Congo in Africa, uh, like this area, you can see what is probably slash and burn, according to the Wikipedia. Pretty, pretty large area that's been affected. I think that's it for that. I don't know. I would say the slash and burn is not very similar looking for the most part. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. Many lines, whole area. Similar squiggly and goofity patterns, strangely. Odd, right up to the coast. Really covering the whole landscape. And this is tough to tell whether this is part of that pattern or not. Any faint lines, vast area, okay. I think, I've, I think you're getting the picture here. Whatever it is, is I'm just saying it's likely something other than a few farmers clearing the area over millennia. Even this patchy pattern, I'm wondering if all of this is modern, modern work and or conventional explanations. You see it kind of underlying all the modern activity, the pattern. Yeah, these wavy, goofy lines. What is it? I don't know. And kind of just zooming in on random, random spots, see if we see the pattern. I guess it's not entirely visible, or it's not necessarily everywhere. But, well, here we go. Some slightly strange patterns, although this, I suppose this could be modern. See, so, yeah, see so faint lines here. This looks like the whole area was hit with some high technology, is my best guess. Maybe to, uh, boy, I don't know why, like, and if the idea was to make the, I, I maybe this is the best they could do, and for whatever reason they couldn't hide their tracks or whatever but I don't I just don't know why if they had such high technology they wouldn't have done a, a better job see here you see all these parallel lines here yeah that's I don't think that's here as well here I don't think that's just regular regular old farming and and logging
I could be wrong, but in this case, it would surprise me if I am. Once again, more of it here. Faint indications of it there with not much modern activity going around going on around it. Kind of looking a little goofier here. And I wonder if this ridge thing is just curious what that is. Yeah, mul let's see the pattern here. Multiple ridges and grooves. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's keep moving and look at some more of the stuff I had flagged already. Patchy. I'll be doing a whole episode on, quote, patchy, unquote. Which is associated with this type of clear-cutting look, or shaved, shaved vast areas of land. See these? See any of it there? Not really. Don't really see it here. Maybe maybe this, whatever that is. And maybe this, although that could be a foot trail or something. More and more though, I'm seeing lots of like miscellaneous dashes and, and short, straight uh, grooves that seem a little out of place could just be I could be wrong more of it here same pattern my chair patchy lines whole area okay yeah you get the idea I'll just show a little bit more just to drive the point home and, and kind of bash you over the head with it just so you can uh, so you can't ignore it. <laughs> My instinct, once again, could be wrong, but if there was a much lower population in the past, then how were they able to access such vast or impact such vast areas of land so fully, so thoroughly, just completely resurfacing all of Scotland and Ireland and Peru and Papua and elsewhere. Um, so, I mean, it's obviously artificial, is it? I mean, I guess I'm repeating myself now, but just chit-chatting as I scroll through these examples, faint lines. More of that type of pattern here. See subtle variations and similarities. How about over here? More of it. You see some modern activity, you know. So. And it's also interesting to look at the rocks. See if you can see, because if it's if you could see the pattern in the the rocks, then that's kind of a. I mean, like the solid granite or bedrock, then that's kind of a, a dead giveaway that some type of high technology was used. However, you don't see a whole lot of. I mean, some possible faint parallel lines here, but I might be making that or seeing trying to see things I want to see. Hmm. It's 
so yeah, I mean, that could just, these lines could just be the striations and the bedrock. Lacy multiple directions, possibly. It might just be the bedrock. It's weird. It's like, it's like this was all done both with tremendous care and also very, very sloppily. Possibly as a way to like out themselves, you know what I mean? For the, for those who would be open-minded enough to consider that something, something's up, something's not right with history and earth and all that, while also deceiving those it was meant to deceive, or, uh, I don't know. Yeah, just widespread ubiquitous phenomenon. Let's see. I think I showed you most of this over here. Let's show you a couple more examples. Okay, so we'll check out the 360 photo and see what it looks like. So this, this is what my chair looks like, just kind of a low, flassy, flassy, flat, flowing plane. And you can see some of the, the faint lines there. Let's check out a couple different photos. Different directions here. So it's, it's like ripples, ridges. See it there, there, changing direction. Multiple directions here. And of course, it begs the question, how much of the original landmass is original? You know what I mean? Um, like, to what, like, was this a, a surf, a purely surface level operation? I th I'm leaning towards that type of thing, like the, the land masses were natural and then you know, long time scales and natural processes with intermittent intervention by some artificial tech wielded by who knows who. Once again, at the at the risk of boring you to death with the same example, example after example, you just you just gotta. I mean, there's a totally different feeling to watching this on a video than the feeling you get when you go looking for yourself. And I'm sure you'll find lots of different stuff than I find, just because people like to focus on different things. And like, I haven't seen a whole lot of the star fort phenomenon, even though I've been looking in so many places, but a lot of people just kind of gravitate towards that and their eye catches it. So I'm sure you'll find some cool stuff I haven't found in it's it's a very different feeling when you when you go looking for yourself so please do that if you feel so compelled it's like the difference between discovering it for yourself or deriving deriving the realization which kind of internalizes it versus kind of sitting through a, a lecture and just having it kind of wash over you and most of it in in one ear and out the other. I know from experience because <laughs> I forget so much stuff really quickly. Also, there's probably a lot of good counterexamples or objections that could be raised here. Like, we also need to do an analysis of what associated patterns or accompanying features or patterns we see in the area, like are there rivers nearby or farms, like modern farms or 
indications of past settlements or mountains or rivers, aquaculture, volcanoes and stuff. So it, I mean, you know, we could imagine like a, a meta-analysis that might be useful. Because really when you're evaluating something this radical, a theory this radical, you need to exhaustively You need to exhaustively go through all the potential counterexamples that might wash these theories or debunk these this notion of artificial terraforming on this scale. Um, here you see these wavy lines. Is it terracing? Former terracing? Modern? Uh, reworking of the land for something, or preparing for a, a, a t t new city. I don't know, it almost looks like vehicle tracks, so maybe never mind. Or some type of uh, water management, flow management. Oh, and also just looking at this, I Hmm. I kind of these patchy forested areas. I don't know what to make of it. I, well, you see, it's kind of newer looking here, or still growing. This is more mature, so this is probably just modern operation. I don't know why, but the the chunky patchy areas of forested. land just looks a little weird to me you see with some wavy patterns hmm is that modern is this like some type of vehicle like a tractor just doing its rounds it might be sounds somewhat likely okay okay let's go in the uh let's take a quick look at ireland we're just looking at scotland mostly I'm pretty sure I showed most of what I wanted to show in Scotland. Quick look at Ireland. Some kind of rippled pattern, but not necessarily unnatural. Yeah. Let's see. Here we see some lines. Maybe modern, maybe old, maybe modern work over older artificial patterns. So this is kind of weird, these patchy huh. strips, like strips almost. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it might just be modern farming. Hmm, more of that patchy strips look. Hmm. See, like these don't look like modern farms. It's like cleared out, sheared over patches of land. And yeah, I mean, I'm I'm wondering if, like, you see, obviously, a lot of parceling of the land. Of course, the boundaries between lots, plots of land. And I'm wondering if some of that is adopted from previous activity from this artificial terraforming, like all of this, all of this, or much or most of it, could that have been from this artificial terraforming project? See, kind of 
a lot of activity, multiple directions. I don't know if I buy that these are merely modern farms or old farms or old deforesting. Let's take a quick look at older photos. 2010s, as old as it gets. Looks basically the same. Uh, this portion of the video is really drawing out and getting long. I apologize, but part of the part of the process. It's an important again. It's an important part of the picture. This mature and or cleared. See, same pattern. This is on a looks like it's on a hill hillside. And see, this is normally if I saw like one of these uh, lines in isolation, I would just assume that that's erosion. But since you see so many parallel and more or less regularly spaced and associated with this, obviously, multiple directions, gotta wonder. Okay, and I'm, I really haven't looked much at England, but I'm willing to bet that you can see similar stuff in some places at least. Let's just do a random zoom here as it loads. Yeah, maybe. Although that kind of, hmm, that kind of looks like modern deforesting, although maybe not. I don't know what that is. Patchy. Take a better look at it later. Hmm. Kind of looks like modern vehicle tracks, so that might just be what that is. See the same thing over there, over here. Pretty ubiquitous, patchy. Okay, so this is a little weirder, because here, here we have it more regular, or at least kind of regular, semi-regular and rectangular. At least kind of looking like something people do. Here it's more blotchy. See what I mean? And I'm not seeing... Actually, this could even be natural. Some, uh, some type of vegetation pattern or... Here's what it looked like in 2001. Kind of haphazard clearing of the area. And this was just kind of a random zoom. See, it's stuff like this that made, made me kind of ask the question, if golf courses were retrofitted from these patchy patterns or built over them, Uh, still, still possible that this is just deforestation by modern activity within the last couple hundred, maybe couple thousand years. It's quite likely, I would say, actually. Hmm. So I kind of see tire tracks here or vehicle tracks, so maybe, maybe this case is just modern activity. Oh, but here we have, oh, no. Once again, the scale, though, is pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This could be the artificial clearing or the, or conventional logging. I don't know, bro. I did find a golf course in California that looks like it was built over these kind of wavy mud chair patterns. All right, let's um let's go back and show some examples in Peru. Okay, so this one I really like. This is the Red River in Peru. 
And it's cool because at the beginning of the video, you see these lines here, very similar to Scotland and Ireland, and possibly Papua. And just let it play. Kind of almost terraced. Or at least staggered kind of le layers and level. Anyways, this video is interesting because, and it's red, it's red because the, I don't know, iron oxide or something. That's not what I, I'm pointing out. I'm pointing out these lines here at the very beginning and this other direction here. And possibly I might be seeing things or wishful thinking, but I almost see the lines continuing over the rock and like through the rock. Like this looks like it's a, a solid boulder here. And, you know, what would be <laughs> carving parallel lines through a boulder? So I found this image that is slightly clearer. Same, same frame, basically, same picture. And can't really don't get a better look, but slightly different contrast or colors or whatever. So I think this is the same. Whatever did this, I, I mean, I guess it could be farming. It might be. Uh, I'll show you the whole area in Google Maps in a moment so you can get a, an idea of the patterns associated with this. Possible that, that this is farming, but it's I'm guessing that whatever did this pattern also did the pattern in Scotland, the Machair. So this is the general area. I couldn't find the exact location of that photo, but I scrolled around for a bit. Let's see, where are we? here in Peru, this this province, and yeah, basically this whole area, you have these same wavy patterns, and parallel lines, I mean, I don't think this is modern work, I don't think this is a much lower population doing farming or, or deforestation, I think this is either some type of activity from a lost civilization or some type of resurfacing effort with high tech, high technology. See, I mean, this whole area, just look at the scale of it. And Several others right now and in the past are pointing out this, the scale of, the, of weird stuff on Google Earth. John Levi being one of them, Conspiracy RS, New Earth, of course. So, I mean, what the fudge? <laughs> what is all this? It's very, very strange. This could be anything, maybe even solar farm or eh, probably not, but see the faint lines it's like squirrely see here this is looking a lot like like what we saw in Papua this particular area so let's look at Papua real quick once again briefly some faint lines here but uh, similar. I'm looking for a particular. Here, this is kind of kind of similar to what we were just looking at in Peru. We've got these lines across, and then lines going the other way. So compare this to. This, similar, I think. I think it's done by the same hand, more or less. Ooh, mystery glow. I mean, you get the picture, it's, it's pretty, pretty much everywhere. Psh, psh, psh. 
Ja, ja. Let's just do a random zoom over here. Let's see what we see. Here we see kind of that pseudo terraced pattern. I'll, I'll show you some images of that in a second. Uh, like this weird, weird layering ridges. Okay. Anyways, um, I think I had flagged a couple areas in Google Earth Pro with my place marks, so I'll just take a quick look at that. I think we're over here somewhere. Yeah, I think this is the general area. So yeah, you see the faint patterns there. Here, I mean the whole area. Vast, vast area. And just for the heck of it, 2012 looks basically the same. I don't know if we're going to get photos any farther back. It's pretty goofy, huh? 1969 is too blurry. That's the best we got. But I'm willing to bet that it looked basically the same. Patchy lines, vast area. Also see some variation in, in colors of the patchy land. Faint lines, multiple directions. Long lines here. Vast area patchy patterns. So you should be getting bored by now because I'm basically just showing the same thing over and over. Because you got to see it in. Nah, whatever. Said it already. Durr, durr, durr. When I say vast area, I mean tens of thousands of square miles, which is like hundreds of miles by hundreds of miles. Okay. And this is kind of like that drone video, these lines looking very similar to what we saw in the beginning of that video. So yeah, this is not farming activity. Something else. Strange circles and walls. This might be somebody's ranch or something. Random square. Could be modern. Another one. Squiggles. More squiggles. More squiggles. All right. And I'll I'll touch on this again later, but this one blog in particular, this post back in 2008, this dude's a legend, showing a lot of these patterns, strange patterns in Peru, which I think is associated with this Machere type phenomenon. Okay, um, I want to show a bunch of pictures of these re weird patterns. Here we have what probably passes for former terraces, but I don't buy it. Either that or natural geological layers, but I'm not quite buying that either. It's possible. Here you see more of that. Here, I like this image. You see lots of kind of like little square patterns almost, or polygonal, polygonal 
and like ridges of stone or ridges of raised stone and also these layers of rock it's kind of streaky streaks of rock for reference Okay, so I'm going to take you through a bunch of these images because there's a lot of good ones. This is that province in Peru where we see that similar machere type pattern. Here you can kind of see some in the distance. And I guess when you live here, you just don't question it because you've seen it since your whole life. Here you see a little bit of it on the hill here. Here, you get a good look at these lines of patterns. And up close, I can't really look at this and say I think it's like fake rock or anything like that. Like. This looks about as natural as a mountain can look, minus the patterns seen from from above. So it's it's an enigma, that's for sure. And we kind of see the wavy patterns in the rock there. Is it natural? I mean, maybe. Except, uh, could be a combination of the artificial terraforming plus some type of natural variation or striated kind of staggered rock layers uh, good look in the background there or in the distance hmm Hmm. See here, it kind of just looks like these staggered rock patterns are just exposed bedrock layers. So that might be accounting for some of it. Here we see a, a lot of rock walls. Hmm. Interesting. See here, kind of looks more like walls than exposed bedrock layers or fins. It's like, see here it looks more like exposed bedrock, but here it looks more like walls. Some type of patchy network of, of stone walls. So that's very odd. See, like that does not look natural. Patchy shapes. Some kind of megalithic stuff with that 
odd pattern in the background going up the mountainside. I wonder if both the, the mountain and the stonework are done by the same party. Here's a good look at some some of those patterns on the ground. Kind of wavy lines here. Here we see a little, little bit of those lines up going up the hillside. Maybe the work of this dude, maybe not. Here we see lots of stone walls accounting for some of the patterns. And here's a really good look at these lines. And don't want to jump to conclusions here, but it, uh, I want to say like it's lines through this stone here too. I mean, that might even just be a couple sheep or something. <laughs> um. You see the, the scale of these lines, kind of grooves or dunes, little mini dunes. Good view of the, the landscape. Tough to see any of those. Don't really don't really see any of those lines here. Kind of a random patch taken out of this hill. Actually, here you kind of see some some lines here. See that right there? Yep, see it right there as well. And over here. So here's a good example of all those patterns. And hmm. Some more of it here. Yeah, almost like some kind of scraping. Not quite sure. See it right there a little, right there. Pretty cool, here's a good look. Hmm. Some of these wavy line patterns. Very odd. 
Uh, hmm. Could be like farming up the hillside. I don't know. Here you see some lines. That's a good good view of it. Right there. The mouse is in the way. Right here. Like the path of some kind of maneuver or I don't know. All the waviness. Quite strange. Here we see some somewhat unnatural looking layering or terracing or whatever. Here we go. Almost a scalloped look like to the, the patches, the large patches like this, this. Kind of almost like scooped out a little, but and then we've got these lines here, these wavy groove things that we saw from above in Google Earth and Google Maps. And here we see like a rock border to it or an edge to them. Hmm. Over here. So this is what it looks like up close, whatever it is. I'm sure I can find a like a, a really HD drone footage video of this to I'll try and find something like that in the future. See in the background there. I see some of those wavy lines here, yeah? Here. Pretty cool look at some uh, staggering, whatever caused that. Layering, whatever. Wavy lines, plus all these walls. Okay, so here, ooh, hmm. See, so we see these walls here up close, which are obviously man-made. When, who knows? But look at, I think this is more walls here, more here, more here, more here. Wow, uh, boy. So that's why it's like I can't decide in some cases whether I'm looking at bedrock or, or a wall. You know what I mean? Because it's obviously a wall when you look right here. But when you look up on the mountainsides, it doesn't necessarily look like... See, like these layers or staggered bits? This doesn't necessarily look like man-made stuff, but then here it looks man-made. Is that, like, does this wall continue over here, or is this portion natural? Strange. Kind of looking like walls there, almost man-made walls. Maybe. 
kind of a wall quality to it. Oh, and here we go. We see this wavy pattern here, these parallel faint grooves that's associated with the Machere phenomenon. Machere again being this stuff in Ireland, like the flat plane. So you get a pretty good look at it here. Right there. Looking at this rock, I'm half wondering if some of these vertical lines are artificial, but that might just be the bedding, bedding planes of the rock. The bedrock. <sighs> see right here, you can kind of see the, the lines. Almost looks like it is cutting through rock, which leads me to gravitate towards some type of high tech explanation. And it's looking like an artificial wall here, right? Whereas here it looks more natural. Hmm. I mean, I could spend hours on this. <laughs> I've already spent a long ass time on this. So here's a cool area, bunch of walls, whatever. Here we see the kind of patchy, chunky side of the mountain, whether natural or man-made or high-tech. See it? The patchy, or I don't, I don't even know what adjective to call that. This strangely geometric, staggering. Here, yeah, we're seeing some of those wavy grooves, sets of wavy grooves, and you can see the end of it here almost looks like it's kind of a, a, a gash up to a point, or up to a, uh, just a length of a, a maneuver, I don't know. So you're seeing some of it there, and then here as well. Yep, all up these mountains or hills here. See, looking at this and the way these patterns kind of flow and abruptly stop and start and kind of intermingle, this is like the example in Papua. It makes me think that these are not deforestation. Or clear cutting. Because these look quite similar to what we were just looking at in Peru, I think. Sets of wavy grooves. All right, and then across the street, we see it right up close, these parallel wavy grooves. I'm trying to just look at the rock up close, see if there's anything suspicious or weird. Not really. Hmm, okay. Some of the patchiness of the hillsides there. Yep, like patchy terracing almost. Pretty weird. Here we go, here's a really good look at the parallel lines, grooves. 
combined with these artificial walls around or man-made walls. Patchy pattern in the uh, up the hillside. Super weird, bruh. Some of those wavy lines or sets of parallel lines up close here. Good look at them. Wouldn't surprise me if some of these big natural boulders were placed there arbitrarily or artificially or are in some sense out of place. Also wouldn't surprise me if they're for the most part totally natural. Patchy kind of look there. Very natural looking and also somewhat oddly patterned. I don't know. This might be a good example. See these faint lines, these parallel lines on this rock? I could be revealing. <sighs> Again, tough to say, but it, it, it does remind me of this image right here with these lines and this possible lines across this rock. So like, like this. <sighs> it's not a great photo, so or you need to see it from several angles. So, bummer. Some waviness there, lines, blah, blah, blah. There, there. Right here, right here. Yeah, whatever it is, there it is. Okay, here, it's subtle, but you see this lake here, and then Zoom in a little bit and see these, those lines, that pattern, going up the side, see it there, 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 like something scraped up the side here. And I'm, I'm paying special attention to where the rock meets the, the patterns to see if the pattern continues onto the rock, but ah, it's frustrating because I can't really say I've seen a picture that can convince me definitively one way or the other. And then what might be artificial walls here, but hmm. Here you see faint parallel lines there. Here too. Almost here as well. Right there. Some of that could be modern work, modern farming. But it's like these are scrape marks that cleared some of the land up to this up to this point, you know, like lots of little linear bites taken out of it. Kind of looks like that. I don't know if that's what I think happened, but it is what it is. Here, see it up the side of the hill here. Could be just modern activity, but uh, pretty widespread. I don't know. Really good look at the kind of geometrical quality to the staggering of the hillside. Strange, strange look to it. See that? And, okay, so let's break this down. We see these these faint parallel lines here, this some type of operation here, in conjunction with these ridges, 
Like these ridges almost look, for the most part, they look natural. Like here, these look like natural ridges or um, strata of rock or whatever, or differentially eroded portions of the mountainside. That's why I keep coming back to this idea of like half, half, half natural, half artificial, like, like almost a feature average. Like are these natural ridges? Like this is kind of like a half wall, half mountain strata. I don't know the terminology, but. Because when you look here, you see these these lines, which are almost certainly unnatural or not done by nature. So whether it's modern work or old farming, I mean, yeah, obviously it could just be old farming activity in between the natural rock strata. That might be the most likely explanation. I I'm, I don't know about that though. Here's a great look at the patchy kind of polygonal look to this, the staggering or the layering of the rock, which may or may not be natural. And here's a look up close. It looks like it's more done. That pattern is comprised of walls, of man-made walls, stone walls. So, I mean, if, if these patterns here are the same as what makes the pattern here, the, the walls, then just look at the scale of how many walls there are. Again, covering basically tens of thousands of miles. Oh, this is that picture people have referenced as like, it looks like a sleeping giant. But I'm going to go with no. I don't think it looks like a big petrified giant laying on his side. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. That's possible. I mean, it's obviously possible. I find the, the whole mud, mud fossil um, conversation very um, compelling and interesting and worth investigating, at least. And it wouldn't surprise me, again, if there are like somehow like giant trees and giant creatures. Uh, I just, uh, just looking at this it doesn't look like that to me. It just looks like it coincidentally looks like a dude laying on his shoulder, but I don't think that's what it is. <sighs> okay, I think that's more than enough of Peru. Actually, this may be an important example because it shows what looks like modern farming in the patterns we're seeing. So maybe all these patterns are old old farming activity it's possible okay so good look here walls are uh, obviously man man-made walls here stone walls more of it there and so we kind of get a, a picture that that these patchy uh, staggered patterns geometric terracing of the of the hillside and mountainsides over this vast area this the presence of these walls here seems to suggest that the this like all of the the pattern is walls but it doesn't necessarily look like walls everywhere so i don't quite know how to reconcile that More shit. Faint parallel lines there. Fascinating. All right, that's enough. Um, I want to show you real quick. Uh, uh, down the street from me in California, Southern California. There's a similar 
similar pattern of those sets of lines that we see as as the Macher in Scotland and also whatever that was we were just looking at in Peru. Okay, so So here's like a a golf course here. Let's look at the older photos. And whatever whatever um pretty well developed 2002 still developing it looks like a little bit 1994 is what i wanted to look at and see here so are these pre-planning lines you know what i mean like uh they send the big heavy machinery in and it clears the land somewhat or preps it for development is are these patterns the result of that or are these these same wavy lines and old patterns that we see in oops papua and peru and scotland and ireland so i'm leaning towards The latter, like it, it looks like the, that wavy, wavy lines pattern, the mature type look to it. It's too bad there's really no remnants of it anymore in newer photos. See, it's all developed now, so we can't really go look. I'm thinking like all of these hills might be newish because the soil is not like I guess like there's areas where there's oak trees and stuff but it just looks like a wasteland kind of just like some bushes and then like a bunch of dirt <laughs> it seems like if the if this land were sitting here for a longer period of time more of a sophisticated ecosystem would have developed but at the moment it's just big dirt clods in the shape of a hill and then some bushes on top and a few trees see it's basically just like dead grass on on dirt <laughs> that's basically this whole area but yeah it's pot i think it's possible that these older patterns are from a previous undocumented terraforming thingamajig. Where was it? Yeah, these wavy thingies. Also possible it's just bulldozers doing whatever. So I don't know. Too bad we don't have photos from like 1950, 1850. wrap up this segment real quick still got a long ways to go in this video but last thing i want to say on this is just a big shout out to this post by david flynn in 2008 so this guy's been on this train for decades so this is all the patterns we're seeing in peru this is like a google earth view and i read this i can't really remember what he said I think he's interpreting it as possible prehistoric works built by giants like geoglyphs. And here we see like mounds associated with it. Pretty odd. Just give you a quick look at these. See, this is kind of the patchy geometric staggering of the mountainside we we're looking at kind of flowing in odd directions strange patterns see these dots spots mounds well actually i take that back those might just be bushes or something trees So, 
big shout out to this dude and big thank you for taking the time to make this post back in the day. Some parallel lines there, large scale patterns of whatever. Crisscrossing in multiple directions. Could be multiple phases of farming. I'm kind of looking here to see if I see any of those paint, faint parallel lines. Possibly, maybe not. Approximate extent of the area right around Lake Titicaca, and I've seen it in lots of places in the surrounding area. And of course, lots of ancient sites associated or in the general area, remains of stone megalithic works. Which may be fake, maybe, or genuine, whatever. Actually, now that I look at these these spots or mounds, it, it, it does look like part of the, it's not bushes. See? <laughs> See how this could almost be interpreted as natural? It's like halfway between natural looking and artificial. So weird. Hmm. Zigzaggy weird lines. This looks very much like the almost identical to the pattern seen in Papua that we were looking at. One more brief look at that. Like this. There's a good example. Compare this to that. Similar. I think it's very similar. So good job, David. 2004 looked basically the same in Papua. Yep. Yeah. See here? See we have these circles intermingled with or, you know, nearly circular features, round at least, intermingled with the whatever walls or, or staggerings of, of rock layer we have here. So this is what leads me to think it's kind of like a, some type of algorithm that resurfaced the landscape with weirdness. And even as I say that, I'm thinking that it's still possible that these round features could arise naturally, but then, like here we see it's more akin to a wall, like a man-made wall. Whatever. I think this is a an important image. And if I remember, I will link to this post in the description of this video. Here we see kind of what I'm saying looks like patchy clearing of the area of the land. Like, if not removal of, of material, at least resurfacing somehow. Looks like multiple passes with some type of device. That's the best it's the best I can do. I don't really know how to describe it. More of the same. I think I've beat this section, this horse, beat this horse to death in this section. So, that's, <laughs> I intended this section to go on you know, talking about, from talking about my chair to reading this post. I intended that to only last about 15 minutes. 
but I think it's been about two hours now, so. All right. So if you want to read his take on it, I'm sure he's, I read it. I can't remember what he said. I'm sure it's interesting. Oh, and I'm sure these references are probably interesting as well. Whatever. Cool.